everyone. Good Wednesday evening to you. Let's take a deep dive into the weather for Eastern Ohio and Western PA. It's the video we call Weather for Weather Geeks and lots of good news this evening. We got some rain today, which was needed. Some of us had more than others. Uh, and we have lots of great weather coming our way at the end of the week. First, the uh, stats for today's rain. Now at the Youngstown Warren Airport, 1.42 inches worth of rain today. That is a new daily record for today's date. The old record was, I believe, 1.25 back in the mid-1950s. But you can see the big variety in the rainfall totals across the region. Barely a drop once you get up towards Erie. Akron only had about a fifth of an inch. New Philly, a couple of hundredths, that's it. Pittsburgh even only just had two-thirds. So we were just kind of in the sweet spot across a lot of our area. We had, you know, a few rounds of showers and storms. Uh, from midday through the afternoon and it really started to add up in some spots. So the numbers at the airport after 1.42 today, that brings us up to 1.95 for the month. We're still behind average despite the big day today and we're still way behind average for the summer season. Now we're sitting almost at four inches for uh, meteorological summer. That's over two inches behind average. We are running a surplus for the year at 2.07 inches more than the average. Our local rain gauge network, and again, there's a big variety here. This rain gauge down towards Glenmore, Calcutta, almost an inch and a half down there. There was a line of heavy storms that rolled through kind of the Route 39 corridor or nearby in southern Columbiana County. But then you go up towards Columbiana, quarter of an inch. One little hot spot near New Middletown with closer to a half an inch. But on the roof here at WFMJ, 0.15, just off to the north, though, I mean, the airport's, you know, 15 miles away or whatever it is, um, well over one inch worth of rain. And uh, I'm going to show you some other localized totals. These are the rain gauge numbers. These are the, now these are the uh, radar estimates. And kind of the, uh, the jackpot, if you will, as far as the radar estimates here is in northeastern Mercer County around Sandy Lake up towards French Creek up to three inches worth of rain estimated by the radar there. Another good spot to be today around the Warren and Howland area, specifically the east side of Warren, over towards Howland, and down across the north side of Niles, uh, well over an inch, even close to two inches in some spots earlier on today. Now the cold front responsible for the showers and in some places thunder is crossing the area as we speak. That's basically the thin little line of reflectivity values here. It's really not amounting to much more than a sprinkle, but that's our actual front. And you can really pick out the front when you look at the dew point map out there this evening. The uh, drier air is starting is starting to uh, filter in from the north and to the west. So the front's like right about here. Uh, the dew points drop into the 50s in Detroit and Lansing, even some upper 40s dew points up across parts of the upper Midwest. Dew points are, aren't probably gonna drop into the 40s around here, but we'll see the 50s certainly as we go into Thursday afternoon. Had some comments on Facebook lately that was a reminder that uh, every now and then I should remind everyone what the probability of precipitation means. It's something you see in weather forecasts all the time and what does that 30% chance, 80% chance, whatever the number is, uh, chance of rain or snow mean? It does not mean it's going to rain 30% of the time. It's not going to rain in 30% of the area. What it really means taken literally is there's a 30% chance that it's going to rain at some point over any location. Sometimes we get more specific with what locations we're talking about, especially in, say, winter storm situations where it's likely to snow in Newcastle, but it should be bone dry in Mesopotamia. But in general, this is what we mean. In any one location, there's a 30% chance, 60% chance of rain. It could only rain for one minute, but if it does, then you have measurable rain. Uh, and then the uh, forecast verified, if you will. So it can be kind of a confusing term. The probability of precipitation, a lot of meteorologists don't actually use those numbers because the public is so easily confused by them, but I like to use them because it's a supplement to our icons that you find on the seven day forecast and on the app and things like that. If you don't have that percentage, then you know you might be not sure what the flavor of the day is. Generally, when you see a high chance of precipitation, generally we mean there's a pretty good chance of rain at some point. And if it's a high number, chances are it's more than just a two minute shower chances are it's going to last a little bit longer, even though the technical definition only means, you know, or, or taken literally, I should say, the definition is, hey, even if it rains for five seconds, uh, that's what the literal definition is. But chances are, if you see a pretty high number, it, the flavor of the day typically is, is, is one that is fairly wet. So it's another piece of information that we can add to our graphics, if you will. Anyway, the drier air is on the way. The dew points are going to drop into the 50s tomorrow. A nice breeze for our Thursday. Just a delightful day overall in the wake of our front. And uh, there'll be a few fair weather clouds in the mix. Uh, a little bit of lake effect cloudiness here and there. Um, 
But uh, eventually the drier air wins the battle completely. A clear, almost moonlit night tomorrow night. The moon's full this coming weekend. Um, but high pressure will give us great weather for Thursday, for Friday, and for the weekend as well. A few fair weather high clouds drifting in on Saturday. But we should be dry through the upcoming weekend. Now, I, I hinted at this last evening on Weather Geeks. The uh, pattern is likely to turn a little more active next week. This is today's 6 to 10 day precipitation outlook from the Climate Prediction Center. So this covers roughly July 23rd through the 27th. Decent odds of a wetter than average period here locally. So today's rain kind of one off in the current pattern. It's still a pretty dry pattern because we don't have a drop of rain coming our way Thursday through Monday. But beyond that, I do think there will be opportunities for some wet weather and some more needed wet weather because while today certainly helped in some spots, uh, not everyone shared in the rain. I didn't show you the uh, you know the map for every location, but there was there were places such as Austin Town today that barely had a drop of rain, um, where some of us had a couple of inches. So in general, our region will still need more rain, and I think we'll have some opportunities next week. What about heat? This is today's uh, next 30 days. Uh, the outlook from the European weeklies. Um, it's actually now, it used to be twi uh, twice a week model set. Now we can access this uh, model information. In other words, it's run uh, this model information every single day. But anyway, the European weeklies, when we look at temperature anomalies over the next 30 days, continues to park the biggest temperature anomalies out west and in the uh, Canadian prairies. Don't see very a very strong signal for sustained heat across the eastern U.S. It also does not look like a an abnormally cool pattern for us. But it's possible that uh, the worst of the summer heat is maybe behind us. I wouldn't put money on that just yet. But given the data over the next few weeks taking us into August, we don't see a lot of sustained high heat a day or two, perhaps here and there. But looking into early August, not seeing a whole lot of signals for high heat. But we got a lot of summer left to go, so we're not going to uh, you know, make the uh, call just yet that the worst of summer's heat is, is over. But it's possible because, of course, 30 days from now is mid-August. The sun's getting lower at that point. The days are getting shorter. It gets a little bit harder to have sustained heat, of course, later in the summer season. It's been a hot summer. It's been a dry summer thus far. We'll see what the second half of the season brings, and we'll have more updates on the longer range on weather for Weather Geeks. Thanks for watching on this Wednesday evening. I'll see you better right back here on Thursday.